We've got some breaking news. NBC News has now confirmed a report that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein will leave the Justice Department. He'll do it just as soon as William Barr, President Trump's nominee to be the new Attorney General, is confirmed. Those confirmation hearings begin next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. Casey Hunt, our Capitol Hill reporter, says you can expect about a six-week timeline when it's all said and done that Rod Rosenstein uh, will be gone from the Justice Department. Pete Williams, our senior justice correspondent, telling us Rosenstein was not forced out by President Trump, that they had long planned to stay for only two years. Um, obviously, Walter Isaacson, Rod Rosenstein has been in the crosshairs of President Trump many times. He has been seen by many people as the bulwark standing mm -hmm. between President Trump and the Mueller investigation. It remains to be seen now what that relationship looks like between President Trump, the Justice Department, and the Mueller investigation because William Barr, if he is confirmed, has criticized the Mueller investigation, right. said part of it are, are fatally flawed. You know, Rod Rosenstein will be remembered well because he was a straight shooter. He played it down the middle. And I think it's a problem that he's leaving. I kind of wish he'd say, I'm going to stay through the end of the Mueller investigation. But he did make it contingent on Barr's confirmation. We'll see when that happens. And one has to hope that Barr will conduct himself in the way Rod Rosenstein did. Doris. Yeah, you know, at the very beginning when the hearings were being held for the cabinet officers, particularly for the foreign policy guys, there was some moment of hope when Trump said, I want my guys to disagree with me because they were all disagreeing mm. on climate change, mm. on Russia and nuclear. Said, That's what I want. As this administration has gone on, those guys are all going one by one by one, fired or leaving, and he's now choosing people that are loyal to him. And the extraordinary thing is you've got to choose people who can argue with you. That's the whole key of a leadership, is people who can question your assumptions and fight with you. You can't have your echo around. And unfortunately, those guys are going, and the echo is coming stronger and stronger that he's choosing people because they're loyal. When Teddy Roosevelt first came in, and he had a lot of the McKinley cabinet who were conservative, and they said to people, how can you have them in there? They're not going to be loyal to you. He said, I don't care what they did in the past. What I care is they're going to be loyal to their work right now. And that's what you're looking for, and that's not what we're getting. You'll remember after we Jeff, need Teddy Roosevelt. Jeff right. said we could have we Teddy Roosevelt Teddy to Roosevelt. take on Trump. Really badly. Jeff really Sessions badly. Jeff recused himself. Rod Rosenstein appointed Robert Mueller and has now overseen that special counsel's investigation. We'll see now again the news. What happens that Rod Rosenstein, the deputy attorney general, will leave the Justice Department just as soon as a new attorney general is confirmed. Could be about six weeks from now. Doris Kearns, Goodwin, Walter Isaacson, always good to have you with us. Thanks so much. Still ahead, congressional leaders head to the White House today for a third time in hopes of negotiating a plan to reopen the government. That comes a day after the president delivered an Oval Office address that he reportedly thought was pointless to begin with. We'll explain that ahead when Morning Joe comes back in two minutes. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.